Hello, so I got a question about this crochet top that I did. Summer top I just made for myself. And I'm I work pretty much on a whim. So whatever I make I like work I make it up as I go, whatever I create. So I got a question about this top here. You see the loose strings, I still haven't finished it yet. But I got a question about this particular shirt and there is no particular pattern for this shirt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did I, I have a pattern so to speak it's not a pattern for the shirt it's just a pattern for the design and I got it from this book here knitting and crocheting stitches and I was just looking for an open pattern because I wanted to make something for the summer so what I decided to do is give you an example of what it is I did. The pattern calls for you to work in multiples of four and then add six. So it's multiples of four plus six. So I'm just going to do a swatch here, just a small example. And it's crochet. So I'm going to make my slip knot. Um, just for the sake of this example, I'm going to do 12 plus the 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six okay so this particular pattern what I'm gonna do is I've got my my um my chain here granted it's way smaller than the shirt I made so for the first row I'm going to single crochet into the sixth crochet from the hook so one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to single crochet into this one. When you're counting off those six, don't count the one that the hook is already in. So into the sixth one. Then I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to crochet into the I'm going to skip three and do a single crochet into the next chain. So one, two, three. I skip three. I'm doing a single crochet. So I already got my loops here, or my um, my spaces. They're starting to form. I'm going to chain five, and this pattern is just. A multiple of five. I lost my count trying to talk at the same time. So I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to skip three chains. One, two, three, and then chain into the next one. Do the same thing. When you're working on this on the first row, you're just gonna skip every three skip three and then chain into the next one. Five. So I'm skipping three. One, two, three. And that uh puts me into the last chain at the bottom. And I'm gonna do a single crochet there. I'm actually gonna change color so that you can see what I'm doing in the next row gonna use the pink. These are the same colors I use and I just have extra yarn. <clears throat> um, let's go one step back so that I can actually pull this pink through here and start from there. Okay, so we're turning around and every row from here on out is going to be the same because you're just repeating that second row. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. 
And then on the fir very first one, when you turn around, you're going to crochet into the middle of that arch. So I just counted three over since it's five, so that it'll be right in the middle. And then we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then into the next arch, we're going to do a single crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Into that middle arch. One, two, three, four, five. And what I did on the end is the same thing because it's a smaller arch. So when you actually, um, actually it's like a circle. But you're going to, I did it into the third one. And it actually uh, makes a pretty good edge. Let's, let me count. One, two, three. Makes a pretty good edge um, once you go back and forth. So this is all I did. Back and forth, back and forth. And I did one side and I, I actually put it over my head and see where it came from here to here and if it was the length that I wanted. So I, I, like I said, I really didn't have a pattern for the shirt. I'm trying to do better as far as making patterns and writing them down because now I've gotten a question as to how I did it and the only way that I know is in my head. So what I did today was I got this Stitching Bitch a Knitter's Design Journal. So there are places to sketch in here and there's a place to I guess plan out what what it is that you're doing. Actually, I didn't see this before. Measurements for friends and family. So if you want to make something for someone, it, like chest or bus, center back, neck to, to cuff. So if you want to make something for someone, you can actually put their measurements in here so you already know. And that way, you can probably surprise them if you want. But it's a lot of good stuff in here. Where's the other part? Aside from, you know, the graph where you can sketch out. Or, um, or just, you know, write out the, um, a knitting chart with the symbols if you prefer that. But... I'm doing better. I'm making steps and progress here. But this is what I've done. So uh, this is what I did. The, like I said, the second um, second row is just repeated over and over and over and over again. Chain five. Uh, knit, I mean, do a single crochet into the arch. Chain five. Do a single crochet into the arch. And on the side, this here will become flat as long as you stay consistent and do the same thing over and over again. And what I did for the arms was after I, I figured out what length I wanted it to be you know I, I, I just took an educated guess because usually on shirts they you know skip actually I was thinking about knitting you bind off about four stitches so it's about an inch each way like back and forth but this was a summer shirt so I really wasn't concerned with the arm size because something's going on to here anyway rather I like the idea of swimsuit or um, or just a shirt like um, like I showed you all when I tried it on but up here what I did was in order to close up those holes is in, like at the bottom you skip three so what I did in between is I chained three stitches and then um, did a single crochet into the arch just like I did before and then I chained three did a single crochet into the arch, chain three, and I just did another row of single crochet just to, you know, make it a little thicker and, you know, more stable at the, the neckline. So that's what I did. If you have any more questions, let me know. I'm more than willing to answer them as best I can.